Today's ICD-10 quick coding tip focuses on what you need to know about coding chronic kidney disease stages. My name is Claire and I'm an inpatient coding auditor. In my coding tips and tricks videos, you'll discover valuable insights to help sharpen your medical coding skills and code with confidence. If that sounds like something that would be helpful to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release new content. Chronic kidney disease includes conditions that damage your kidneys and decrease their ability to help keep you healthy by filtering waste from your blood. CKD typically develops as a complication of other diseases, with diabetes and hypertension being the most common causes. But there are also other potential underlying causes like lupus, polycystic kidney disease, medications, and infection that can lead to CKD. The order in which the CKD code is assigned in relation to codes for other contributing conditions follows the conventions outlined in the tabular list. So when coding chronic kidney disease, be sure to pay close attention to those instructional notes. ICD-10 classifies chronic kidney disease according to its severity. CKD has five stages and there are seven ICD-10 codes to identify them. These stages are stage one, stage two, stage three, which is subdivided into stage 3A and stage 3B, stage four, and stage five. Additionally, there's a code specifically for end-stage renal disease. Code assignment is based on the physician documentation of the stage. If the stage is not clearly documented in the medical record, there's a code available for CKD unspecified. According to the guidelines, stage two equates to mild CKD, stage three equates to moderate CKD, and stage four equates to severe CKD. Therefore, stage two chronic kidney disease can be assigned if the CKD is specifically identified as stage two or if there's documentation of mild chronic kidney disease, as per the guidelines. Similarly, chronic kidney disease stage three unspecified can be assigned if the CKD is specifically identified as chronic kidney disease stage three, or if it's specified as moderate chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease stage four can be assigned if CKD is specifically identified as chronic kidney disease stage four, or if it's specified as severe CKD. In the case of end-stage renal disease, it can be coded if it is specifically documented or if chronic kidney disease requiring chronic dialysis is also documented because chronic kidney disease requiring chronic dialysis is an inclusion term for this code. If both a stage of CKD and end-stage renal disease are both documented, only the code for end-stage renal disease should be assigned. Chronic kidney disease stages can also be documented and coded using CGA staging. This advice comes directly from Coding Clinic. CGA staging provides a more detailed description of a patient's chronic kidney disease with the stage indicated by the number following the G. For instance, if the physician documents CKD G4A3, you would code it as chronic kidney disease stage four based on the number four following the G. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here we have a diagnosis of mild chronic kidney disease. Now remember the guideline tells us that stage two CKD equates to mild CKD. So when we look up chronic kidney disease in the alphabetic index, we know that we can select stage two for a diagnosis of mild chronic kidney disease. Here we have a diagnosis of CKD G3AA2. Now remember, Coding Clinic has established that this documentation may be used for coding and that the stage is indicated by the number following the G. So in this case, when looking up chronic kidney disease in the alphabetic index, we select the code for stage 3A, since that is the number immediately following the G. 
Next, we have a diagnosis of stage five end stage renal disease. Now remember, the guideline tells us that if both a stage of CKD and end stage renal disease are documented, assign code N186 only. So when we look up our code in the alphabetic index, we can go straight to end stage renal disease and know that we only need to assign one code for this diagnosis, N186 end stage renal disease. Last, we have a diagnosis of CKD requiring chronic dialysis. Now this is one that you just need to memorize because there's no index entry leading you here, but you're just going to go straight to end stage renal disease when looking up your code. This advice comes directly from coding clinic, which says to assign the code for end stage renal disease for a patient with chronic kidney disease who is requiring chronic dialysis. Patients who are on chronic dialysis may be considered as having end-stage renal disease. This code assignment is supported by the inclusion term under code N186, which states chronic kidney disease requiring chronic dialysis. So that's it for today's quick tip. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if there's any topics that you would like me to cover in the future, just leave a comment below and I'll add them to my list. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy coding.